We're heading into the third game mode. This is Blitz. And uh, I want to give a special shout out right now. Thanks to you guys on Twitter for letting me know what's happening in the other matches. But we got a group of YouTubers, just like we saw over in the UK qualifiers. We have a group of YouTubers putting together a competitive team and doing pretty well. That's Redneck playing with Ronnie Ron, Wicked Shrapnel, and Jägermeister. That's pretty cool. I'm, I'm, I'm liking this whole YouTubers coming over to the competitive esports side and, and, you know, really just sort of trying something different. I think, I think that's really, really awesome to see from, from those guys. And oh, yeah. um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that that's happening because we saw uh, Drifter as well. He, he started playing. He played at UMG, I believe, not so long ago. Oh, very, more very and more cool. of these guys are, are coming out and trying their, their hand in competitive Call of Duty. I love it, man. We're kicking things off with Enable Elevate the Ripper. Let's see what he can do. He's rocking an MTAR, Bloods, Remington, and then we just got MTAR, MTAR. So lots of capping is going to be the goal here for Elevate as I switch through the opposite side here on Ego's side. I think we see everything except one Remington in the hand of Goon and a Vector in the hand of Crane. And, and more and more people in this qualifier are using the Vector, and I simply do not see why this gun is an option for, for many players. It seems to be great at mid to short range, as you saw there, but for the rest of Octane, so difficult to get the important kills. Especially on a map like this. I mean, I, I could understand it in maybe Strike Zone Dom, for example, you know, where everything's going to be close quarter. If it's your personal preference, why not? But in a map like this, where, you know, you, you've got very long sights at times, not really the best choice, in my opinion. Already, though, Seth is opening up with three points, a cap as well as two kills. You're watching Illusion behind enemy lines inside the Elevate base. He's setting up for a second cap. Quick reload glitch, and he is going to get out of it. Shots going down. Can he finish? The assist is there, and he is going to pick up a second kill. Big teamwork here as Seth has been running laps. That is two caps already for this Egos Aside squad, but Elevate is right there on the scoreboard as well with three caps of their own. That, that's what we're seeing right now is just the constant overextending from both teams. And, you know, <laughs> Elevate have actually come out on the better side of that, I believe. Yeah, the 4-3 in the lead. So that constant overextending, you can't always do that. You do sometimes need to drop back, cover your base, and make sure you're not bleeding out points. Because at the end of the day, if you're capping and they're capping, what's the point in capping in the first place? It's just going to stay even. And Gunez realized this. I love what he's doing. Just picked off a player top pawn. He's working back of his base with the Remington. However, a player did just run by, and I'm very confused. It looks like they were set up to play solid D, and just like that, they're going to give up their base. Enable just running through there. Nobody in sight. And now Enable spawns back at his base, able to go immediately into defensive mode. They're doing the smart thing, just checking back. You saw it. He thought about running to his left-hand side and then was like, wait, no, I need to draw at my base and unfortunately does lose that gunfight i just noticed bloods 0 and 5 right now not having the best of games just i say that picks up his first kill now needs to try and build upon that though but he's gonna have to do some defensive work Ooh. there's the knife i like it that's gonna put him at two and five meanwhile his team actually scoring more points on the other side of the map making it seven to five Re really struggling with that kill but connects and you know since i started looking at him he's now gonna be three nearly the, you, you did the opposite of a caster curse you made him play right? better did I, that that's unusual that never ever happens strife going through for cap number nine as now it is starting to get out of hand it's look at these spawns they have given up on spawn control and we are seeing elevate just being able to run lap after lap and we watched optic gaming do this a few weeks ago against denial embos was able to run six straight caps as they set up for the spawn trap back strip. Here comes Strife, second one in a row. Again, the spawn in Diner, and he is going to be pushing forward for a third. Yeah, some nice plays coming from Elevate. They kind of, but a, a little bit slow, you know, trading and exchanging those those caps. But then all of a sudden, look at the difference in score now. 11 to 6, with just under two minutes left. And what I'm loving about this Elevate team is it isn't just like one person just constantly running at the flag. You've got Enable, four caps. Corrupt, four caps, strife, three caps. They're, they're spreading out the, the load of the team, and they're all doing their defensive duties as well, and it's just really good to see a team with such good coordination. Blood's getting picked off from behind. It's up to Perplex to lock down this right side of the map. He gets the kill. As you can see on the scoreboard, no one really from Ego's aside coming through in the last minute as defense has been the focus here for everyone, but it looked like strife. Now perplexed, he's going to have to get the kills on the left side coming off the respawn and does exactly that. Picks up two. His players are deep playing defense, and he can go through on the 
attack right now. Can he slide in under the bullets? He does. Number 12 to 6 as Elevate is now officially doubling their opponent's score. Uh, really nice plays from the Elevate lineup. <laughs> Erupt. 11 and 6, 5 caps. He is just on a rampage right now. Does get taken down. Strife is going to be left. I say defensive duty, but you know everyone else is pinned so far back in their base. There really is no need for him to do much defensive duty. So you just have to wait for his teammates to spawn in. Surprise, surprise, elevate. Going for the attack again. Enable taking care of one player. Now setting up patiently, waiting for a third. Feels the pressure and is going. Oh, doesn't get the kill. Seth says take a seat. Actually, that was Goon doing the damage. And Goon and friends will push three men strong in the back of this Elevate base. Meanwhile, though, Elevate continues to score. They're going to have to deal with that spawner. set. is going to get the kill and go through 13-7, a six-point advantage for Elevate so far. Goon trying to cut it down to just five. Well, you say that, but Blood's on the other side. He was trying to get another cap. Wasn't going to happen, though. Some great defensive work coming out right at the very end, but still 13-8. to eight. That's a bit of a big lead. All right, so we're going to switch sides and do it for five more minutes. 13 kills is the highest in the game, and you can see, surprisingly, that's coming from Egos' side. They're outslaying their opponents, but 5-11 and 11 for Illusion is not enough. He needs to step up his game, and he needs to start getting some captures. Yeah, that de desperately needs to try and start getting some caps, you know, just share, share the load, share the responsibility with the rest of the team. That's the, the big thing that you, you really need to do as... I'm just having a look. I mean, okay, who, who do you reckon really needs to, to step up uh, if they have any chance of coming back into this game? It, it's Illusion. You know, I was taking a look at him. 5-12 and 12 now after losing his first gunfight. He just looks uncomfortable against these pro players. And he is being outshot at the moment. Seth getting stunned, but still going through. Solid stuff there. And we're going to see the enemy answer right back. 13-10 for Seth. He's going to be my player to watch. Well, I'm going to have look at him then and see if he can try and increase that momentum that he has right now because he's 13 11 six caps but there's only so much you can do by yourself you, you look at the difference in the cap column when you when you got seth with six really the rest of his team only with what two and one whereas you, you look at the elevate you've got seven five and three so really yeah. Seth does need his teammates just to have matched a little bit more we just gotta watch elevate back. to be honest elevate has this game locked up if they keep playing this way this is the yeah. team to look out for in this quadrant of the bracket Enable, 11, 11, and 5. Strife, 9, 13, and 3. Bloods, he's been focused on just killing after a terrible start. Now 15 and 13, most kills behind Goon in the game. Just trying to see if, if there's any like poor plays that this Elevate team is doing defensively. And every single time they're spawning, they are tracking back and they're still putting that pressure on the base. And they're going to extend to 16 points now. And... It's just so tough to be a team that is so disciplined in this essence. I mean, we, we saw a perfect example of Enable earlier on where he spawned. He, he started to go left. And he was like, no, need to rotate back. And he, he managed to save a cap out of that one play. But there is a trading cap, 17 to 10, three minutes remaining. This is looking very good if you're an Elevate fan. All right. Staying on board now with Bloods. He's just holed up here, top motel. He's going to be the Remington player trying to lock down the map. There will be a player pushing from the right side, but it's at the top level. Bloods reacts, picks up the kill. Meanwhile, more pressure being filed through the center of the map. That is Strife going up against three players. Let's jump on board with him. As I say that, he is picked Aww. off. Enable goes through, though, and that's 19 to 10, trying to get back up to double their opponent's score at 20-10. Yeah, they still have plenty of time to achieve that, as well as Enable hits a nice knife. Meanwhile, you've got it ripped on a six-point streak, 17 and 10, 10, 11 caps actually now. Just a machine of an objective-based player right now. Perplex doing such nice work so far. 17, 10, and 11. Best stats in the game, kill-death ratio-wise, as well as objective-based. Yeah, I mean, you, you can't ask more from a teammate, really, can you? <laughs> when they're dropping the most, well, the, be the best KD, I guess, and the most caps... I mean, that's just, that's so difficult to do against some of the best teams out there. And, you know, he's doing a fantastic, fantastic job. I'm looking at Strife at the very back of the enemy base. And this should be a cap if he plays it right. He could probably just avoid that gunfight. Goes for it anyway. Connects. Bang. Another cap. 21 to cap. Nice hip fire from Strife here. Taking some fire from the side. Reacting well. His teammates got him covered. That's perplexed in the kill feed again. 
Bloods was taking care of business back at the base, and Strife just making sure everything's clear is now going to push forward. Yep, that's just doing the, the smart thing again, you know, just make sure everything is clear, then start that push. However, they have missed one player. Who is that? It's going to be Illusion. And he should be able to cap this. He's got a play directly in front of him. Oh, did he get it? Yeah, he, yeah, he, he got did. it and died at the same time. But, uh, yeah, at least, he, at least he got the cap. The saddest part, though, is as soon as you go in and you just see enemy scored pop up on your screen, every ounce of effort you're putting into capping means nothing if your team is allowing captures of their own. And it, it's something that not even, you know, the, the semi-professional or amateur teams do wrong. It, you see it at the pro level as well. I mean, this map, especially Curse Las Vegas, prime example, we've seen them get, I don't want to say thrashed, but they, they got beat pretty hard or, or twice when, when they played the same map. And we were speaking to Parasite last night, and, and I asked him, have you ever actually won this map? He was convinced he had, but I've never seen him do so. And he said it's just one of those maps which is so difficult to, to defend on because, you know, too many people will overextend, and it all comes down to winning certain gunfights in certain positions. And if you don't do that, you can just get destroyed. So here we go. Final 20 seconds in the matchup. Egos aside, will fall to Elevate, who was perfect in this series, a 3-0 perplexed. 22 and 13. Bloods, 26 and 18. Seven caps from Enable at 17, 22. And Strife basically doing a lot of dirty work in the middle of that map. Congratulations to our Elevate squad. They move on to round five for a second time. Can they make it all the way through round six this time? Hopefully for them. I mean, it's looking pretty good. Obviously, second qualifier, some of the bigger name teams aren't in this qualifies because they've already, already qualified, but still, upsets can happen. All right, so I just looked at the bracket. That means Elevate will match up against Arsenal next. Personally, I'd love to stay on board with this squad. Uh, Arsenal, that's going to be Beastly. Rise Sprays, Technique, a player that we are very aware of, and TIC Shade, all competing here. Technique, a player in the top 1,300 on Game Battles. Guys, we're going to take about a 5- to 10-minute commercial break. So if you need to go get a, a glass of water, make a small, small sandwich, go do that now. We'll try and get the teams together as quickly as possible and get our next match ready for you right here on MLG.TV.